Our message affirmation today is I am happy, healthy, and prosperous. This is such a basic tenet of new thought, and I think it's just a basic tenet of life. I think if you go through all the Freudian writings, you're going to find uh, basically these are the things we're seeking in life. And so when we talk about happy, that encompasses so much. So when we're about to uh, go ahead and affirm this a few times, begin to envision what that is for you. Because for most people, it's, it's you know, loving and being loved. It's having a job or, or something you do that you enjoy in your life or, you know, whatever that niche of true happiness is for you, uh, envision that so that, you know what, it's not just a hollow word we're saying because John's standing up there saying, repeat this with me three times. <laughs> so before I begin with talking much about this, I want to jump right to our question because this is a very integral part and uh, keep this in mind. And uh, as we talk further about it, I'll remind you to uh, get up tomorrow morning and put this in your mind is, do I set my positive outlook as my highest goal and organize my life around that. The point is, is the primary thing that you do when you start each day, when you go uh, out to work, or if you're going to the market, do you start saying, well, this is what I have to do. If the opportunity comes up, I'll smile at somebody, maybe I'll say something nice, or I won't complain too much about the cost of bananas this week. Or is that the center goal? Do you go out to work or to the market or for, you know, whatever thing you're going to do or to meet with your in-laws or whatever circumstance or situation you're about to face and start with, you know what, I am a happy, healthy, prosperous person and everything else falls in line with that because I start with this core understanding and belief that I am a happy, healthy, prosperous person. So I don't try to fit that into my life. I fit life into that. So as you go through the week, do I set my positive outlook as my highest goal and organize my life around that? Or is it the contrary? Do I have my life? Do I go through these motions and do these things in life and try to fit in, uh, you know, these new thought things we learn? And I, I think you recall, I talk about it a lot. I think I mentioned it just last week when we were talking about how years ago when I first uh, became a new thought student and got introduced, how I would think, boy, that's so nice to be so warm and fuzzy on Sunday, but now it's Monday, it's work, and none of that really applies here because, you know, it's got to be cutthroat and you got to make a dollar. And uh, it took several years to realize that, you know what, that is exactly where that's needed. That's where it makes all that wonderful so that, you know, it's not such a horrible, hor horrific thing to get up and start the day and start your work week on Monday knowing that you are happy, healthy, and prosperous. And so this goes in line with that. You know, this is not something that we take along as accessories that we pull out when it's convenient for us. This is the way that we are every day. This is what we start our day with. This is the core of us. And this is uh, the tools that we use to indeed lead these fully happy, healthy, and prosperous lives. We hear in Romans, do not be conformed to this world, but transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is that good, acceptable, and perfect will of God. And we know from our training, and we know because I stand up here every week and tell you that we are meant to live happy, healthy, prosperous lives. That is the will of God. And so don't let what's going on in the world transform you you use your mind and you transform the world around you because we all have that power. We all have that ability to do that. And I'm sure that everybody at one point in their life, you've had the opportunity to, to walk into a room or a social situation or a work situation where people are maybe upset, they're crabby. And you know what? You turn on that bright, big smile and you say nothing but wonderful, positive things. You give compliments and you say wonderful, uplifting things. And you know what? It turns the room around. And conversely, I'm sure we've all seen a situation where, um, you know, you do have bright individuals ready to start a thing and a cranky boss comes in and all he does is start to, you know, uh, degrade everyone for the quality of their work and say how awful everything is. And then we see the energy level and the excitement of that room go down. And it's all, you know what, these were the same situations, same possibilities. And it was all the way the situation was approached that changed everything. And we have that power in us, and that is such a powerful thing. And I think a lot of us walk around with it, and we don't know, we don't realize how powerful that is. Because, again, sometimes, you know what, we have these principles, and they're just sort of along with the ride. And if, if we need them, you know what, we'll take them out. Like, you know, if you're... Uh, Cosmetics become a ray, you might take out your mirror and reapply. 
but this isn't something like that. This is, you know what, your core, the center of you. Take it with you everywhere in every day, in every situation, and begin that. And then make the rest of your life fit around your new thought principles. Make the rest of your life fit around the fact that you're not going to let anything stop you from starting a day with a positive, healthy attitude. There's nothing that's going to stop you from thinking nothing but positive thoughts, say positive words, and do positive deeds, because you know that these are the tools that take you to this happy, healthy, and prosperous life. And they're there for you. It's all there for you. And the good news is, because we're the good news church and we always talk about good news things, the good news is that we are meant to live lives of great happiness, great health, and great prosperity by setting a positive outlook as our highest goal and then fitting the rest of our lives around that rather than trying to fit a positive outlook around an otherwise hectic life. We achieve this. So we maintain a positive outlook by speaking only that which is positive, thinking only that which is positive, expressing ourselves in ways that are only positive, and seeing everyone in the light. And this can be a challenge, and this is a, a message for another day, so I don't want to go into it too far, but seeing everyone in the light. And some of you may recall that was a message one day that Pastor Mike gave us, and it's very important to see everyone in the light, even those we may see as our challengers or our enemies, we see them in the light. These are the things, the tools. This is us being nothing but positive and making the rest of the world fit into that. So see everything in the light. This is the path upon which we live with great happiness, great health, and great prosperity. So again, it all begins in the mind. So anyways, the good news is that we are all meant to be happy, healthy, and prosperous. Every day, in every way, in every circumstance, in every situation, that's where we're meant to be. So be that. Take that with you into every situation and then make the rest of the world fit around these principles. And our positive outlook is our highest goal. That's probably the most important thing to take away today is, you know what, that positive outlook, that is your highest goal. That's your highest place to reach for rather than uh, worrying about, you know, my highest goal is uh, making a bigger salary or impressing the boss or, you know what, resolving this relationship with my mother-in-law or resolving this. My highest goal is to have a positive outlook and then everything else falls in place. Everything else falls in place. And we know that to be true because uh, we see Christ the way shower. You know, he saw everyone in the life. We know that he always had a positive outlook and everything fell into place. So remember that as you're going through the week that I am happy, healthy, and prosperous, and that is my highest goal. That's where I set everything to begin with, and then everything else falls in place. And if it doesn't, it's probably not needed anyways. So remember that as you're going through the week. 